and welcome to the Collegian News. I'm Melissa Ramirez. And I'm Clady Casada. The Student Government Association approved two resolutions in support of green initiatives on campus. Clady Casada has the details. The Student Government Association continues supporting green initiatives on campus by setting aside $800 for the Green Initiative Committee. According to the Sustainability Committee Facebook page, the purpose of the committee is to cultivate among students, staff, faculty, and residents a sense of leadership, global responsibility, and civic engagement to initiate cost-effective and sustainable practices. The Green Initiative Committee was charged with the task of researching sustainability on campus, but lacks sufficient funds to promote awareness to the students. Resolution number 28, approved by the SGA March 8, recognizes the Sustainability Council as the official body for the sustainability programs on campus, and resolution number 29 allocates no more than $800 for the operational and promotional incentives of the Green Initiative Committee. The Sustainability Council, which will be inaugurated on Earth Day, April 22nd, will be in charge of researching and promoting better ways to save energy and keep a clean campus. The SGA will assist the Sustainability Council with $800 to help it operate. But when the council is launched, plans are to propose assessing UTBTSC students a $2 green fee in order to maintain the council's research. That's it, nothing like per hour, per you know, semester, just $2. And if we're able to pass that, the provost as well has said that he would uh, match those funds as well. So if we can imagine two dollars times thirteen thousand people, and then the provost matches that, that's how much we have to run the council with. Environmental science major Joshua Law is the founder and serves as the chair for the committee. Other members are SGA Vice President of Accounting and Finance Jesus Calvillo, Freshman Senator Erica Rangel, Senator for the College of Liberal Arts Michael Quinones, Environmental Science major Bianca Delgado and Tabitha Ferguson, and Associate Vice President for Facilities and Planning Veronica Mendez, among other math, environmental science, and biology majors. For the Collegian News, I'm Clary Casada. Students showed their artistic talents at the third annual Artopia. Hector Aguilar was there. El Gran Salón was transformed into an art gallery March 7th as a means of featuring the community's talent at Artopia 3 Juried Art Exhibit. Senior fine arts major Dana Pope's depiction of a nude and bruised female figure on a gold wooden background with mirror pieces landed her Best in Show award. This particular piece is about being beat up by the world. It's not. It's not a statement on uh, abuse, but you know, for women or any any kind of a, a, f a female rights sort of thing. It's not like that. It's. It's intended to be um, that feeling that you get when you have just had a horrible year, and and that's that's the idea behind it, is being beat up by the world, broken. Through the use of the subtractive technique, Ricardo Flores, a junior fine arts major, scratched his way to the best 2D award for his self-portrait titled Red. I used a subtractive technique that I developed during the summer last year, and I'm just sort of exploring the technique more. And um, it is more of a study, not necessarily a, an actual piece, but just a study to get to get the feel of the technique. Best 3D went to Lita Leal, a senior fine arts major and education minor who designed a post-apocalyptic figure. Um, actually, I started working on the, the torso first. Uh, it was just uh, from a model that we had um, in our studio. And then I just started laying on plaster until I got, I guess, to the right uh, consistency that I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, the head is actually made from like a foam ball. Uh, I covered it with uh, some burlap and some glue. And then uh, this is assembled together with uh, some uh, rivets. Honorable mention was awarded to artist Cliff Welties, the Mama of Dada, a mosaic oil on canvas painting of the American artist Beatrice Wood. Student Union Assistant Director Patricia Longoria retailed the evolution of Artopia through the years. Really, I've, I've uh, had the opportunity to see a lot of different artists grow. Mm -hmm and um, I've, I've been able to see their work improve over the years. For the Collegian News, I'm Hector Aguilar. In observance of Women's History Month, kinesiology professor Selma Mata presented some self-defense methods. Irva Mora reports. On March 9th, 25 women took part in a self-defense workshop presented by Health and Human Performance Chair Selma Mata. The workshop consisted of a lecture on prevention, target spots, and natural weapons, and training on basic self-defense skills. 
Mata said women should not panic and instead learn to think through their fears and fight back. Talking about how to think through it. Um, uh, a lot of times when women are, are, are taken off guard and uh, really haven't had any real training uh, in self-defense, they tend to freeze up, paralyze, and totally panic. And they're not able to think through the fear. And I think that you need to realize that you're, you are going to be fearful. All right, but you're going to be able to think through it and be able to react under those situations. Mata explained why rape occurs, and participants learned how students in high school think about the word stop. This is high school, and they're making out with your boyfriend, and the girl says, Stop, we're not going any further, that he should stop. And she asked the, the, the students in class to, you know, to show, a, a show of hands that if the girl says, stop, that the boy should stop. And there were more hands for she's asking for it and that she brought it off. That's scary. Because what we're really saying is no doesn't really mean no to some people. And what you need to realize is that you have a right to say no. Your body is your body. And you have the right to stop it at any point. And when you say stop, it means stop. After the lecture, participants were shown basic self-defense and striking skills. For the Collegiate News, I'm Irma Mora. Students were encouraged to have a fun but safe spring break at the 6th Annual Luau. Irma Mora has a story. More than 1,000 students attended UTBTSC's 6th Annual Luau to enjoy music, food, and get information on how to have a fun and safe spring break. Organized by the Office of the Dean of Students, Residential Life, and Student Life, along with other organizations, the Lua encourages students to be aware of their surroundings while out. Spring break means being careful with alcohol and drugs, being careful as, as far as going out and being with strangers, not taking any risks, and also distracted driving. Students had the opportunity to simulate how texting while driving can put them in danger of crashing. Right now it seems like there's a lot of stigma about um, drinking and driving, like people know already that it's wrong, I mean it's in the back of everyone's mind already that it's wrong not to do that, but it doesn't seem to be that way with texting and driving, uh, and that's a problem because statistics show, like studies that have been done show that it's maybe even worse than drinking and driving, but people are still out there doing it all the time. The Sigma Psi Delta Sorority asked students to sign a pledge to know where their drinks are at all times. Because it's very dangerous during spring break and you know, you never know what happens, so like we're doing this so like they're aware of like what could happen. Junior biology major Joshua Villasana picked up the informational brochures that were handed out to prepare for a fun yet safe spring break. Free food and also to be um, a little informed about the actual dangers that are out there during spring break. For the Collegiate News, I'm Irma Mora.